Still getting it in, your man DJ Eakin Tampa's most connected DJ. Got a chance to go international today. The lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get right to it. Miss Estelle in the Hi building. You, you good? I'm good, I'm good. You ain't as good as me because I, I feel like I'm reaching around the world right now. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. He's How so is everything? Good. I'm good, I'm good, man. Everything is great. Um, just working like crazy. They got me three steps to the sun on this promo tour. But I'm having fun. I'm just trying to stay focused because yeah. between that accent <laughs> and the accent of a lovely Latin female, I'm just, okay. I'm just, I think I got some notes over here. Let me get my notes. <laughs> okay, I'm back, back focused now. Let's talk about the situation, man, because mm. it's almost like for those who don't do their online research or yeah. don't have a chance to maybe get some satellite radio from around the world, yeah. it's like you just kind of out of nowhere. Came up. Kanye West oh, record. And no. This has been 10 years. This has been 10 years in the making. I started rapping when I was like 18. Right. Um, I had my own record label, did the mixtape thing for a while, like the only chick when I started doing it. Um, put out albums on my own, got signed to a label in the UK, did pretty well. Met John Legend and Kanye before that, um, stayed in touch. John Legend was on two tracks of my first album. Okay. And so we went to work on the second album, which is this album, and the label went, sure. John was like, I'll sign you, come over here, they don't know what they're doing. I was like, oh, thank you, sure I will. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So but it took four years to do all the paperwork and the process and, and write the album. And I had to live and I needed a little time off, you know. Right. So it worked out. But it's nothing like, you know, what we see now. It's like yesterday you was, you <laughs> yeah. was doing nothing and today it's an album. No. It's like 10 years, a 10-year process. I want to say 10 years professionally and longer than that, you know. Wow. Mm. So what that, So the album that we have, <laughs> that we're working on right now is called? This album's called Shine. Okay. It's out right now. Um, it's just fun. Like when It's not fun. You know, I went through crazy to go to write the damn album. I swear. Right. All right. Yeah, I went through crazy to write that album because it was pure. It was four years of crazy in my life where I just had to take everything down to one. Right. You know, I went. I had an album out. Everything was big. It was blowing. There were loads of crazy folk around me. Those were crazy men, and you know, so I kind of use that as inspiration for this. Why are we always the inspiration when a female write an because album, and, and then when it come out and it's so great, we were the we were the inspiration. Yeah. I, well, at least you get credit as the inspiration. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it was it was. This is my thing. I, I'm I'm the kind of artist that doesn't get given songs. I don't get told to write this or write that. You right. Know? So when I write, it comes from personal things. So every song was me kind of going through therapy because I'm too cheap to see a therapist. Wow. And uh, write, you know, just literally writing and getting my demons out. Um, but it just is what it is. You well, know. We definitely liking what we're hearing. I I, I will you. say that about it. Thank you. So how is um and I'll I'll get back to your demons and things you can write <laughs> about later on. We'll, I definitely want to revisit some things you can write about. So sure. remind me about that before I let sure. you get out of here. Sure. But um, the project um, mm. the John Legend thing, of course, that's yeah. the meeting and then the Kanye thing. Let's talk about the single, and American the uh, the boy. American boy. And you yeah. say you know things that you write they come from the heart. Mm. How do, where did the American boy thing start? From? We were messing about. We were, we were in the studio where I am, and we thought we had the single. I was right. I wrote a song called Just a Touch, which is about you know kind of giving guys a little peace and not everything. You know, right. Because a lot of my friends were going through this whole, oh my God, he always calls me when he <laughs> wants me round. And I was always pointing them like, what's wrong with you? You take control. Like, if, if that's the way they're hand handling you, you should basically, you know, give them a touch when you're ready. Right. Well, everything's fair in love and war. And um, we were in the studio messing about and John was like, I like the beat. And I was like, what do we write about to this beat though? And he was like, why about American boys? You're surrounded by them. That's all you've been doing <laughs> since you've been here. Like, there's been like 20 <laughs> guys I've seen come following you, and I'm so oblivious. Like, it right. was, so I was like, we're at Super Bowl weekend, it's Miami. We've got half naked men everywhere, and I'm in the studio with John, Will I Am, and all their mates. So I was right. like, yeah, I can write about American boys. They're there. Right. There's nothing hard about that. <laughs> so we wrote it as a joke, like, just messing about. And I was like, you know what? If nothing happens with this record, I will work for three years straight in Ibiza. <laughs> I'm not bothered. <laughs> you know, I'll put this out, a little vinyl, whatever, and I will go and work. And, and work for, for Yeah, for like two years. But so it happened every time we played it to someone, people just lost their minds. People were like, that's, you know, American boy. That's why. Oh, and I was like. And it is. It's catchy. Just, just hold on to that song. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of catchy. 